Hi, I'm Lisa and I'm the president of Flexalite. I'd like to talk to you about the history of Flexalite and what are some of the things that make us unique. So here's the original flexible fan blade. This was de developed by my grandfather back in 1962. In fact, my first job for the company was when my dad would bring home these fiberglass fan blades and I would weigh them in the family garage and get paid $2 a basket to do so, but made sure that your fans were balanced. We've come a long way since the last 50 some years in our cooling category, but we are manufacturing our products in the United States. We always have and we plan to continue to do that. Uh, we have now our fourth generation starting to operate in the business and we are enthusiasts. So I drive a TJ, I take it wheeling, we have a diesel truck that we tow with and I also have a 2010 Camaro who can get sexier than that. Each one of these vehicles use our products so it's important to us that we develop the right product for you and that we can meet even the most extreme environments that you're going to put them through. So I'd like to walk you through some of the features and benefits that aren't really easy to show in a picture. We manufacture a variety of options for the electric fan cooling category, both primary cooling as well as all auxiliary cooling, single configurations, dual configurations, low profile, as well as uh, deeper profiles for mo more air movement. All of our shrouds are not just plastic. This is glass reinforced nylon. So that means that the shroud itself can bend and flex without cracking. So if you get movement, it's not going to shatter. It also can withstand up to 600 degree temperatures. So I know that my shroud is really nice and supported so it's not going to crack. I've got the struts that are supporting the fan blade here so that I can get maximum airflow through there. Also note, we include a bulb seal with our shroud so that I make sure that all of my airflow is pulling through the radiator and not the engine compartment. Let's talk about our radiators and what makes that different. All of them have our patented FlexaFit system. So we have fins on the inside as well as on the outside of this side tank. So what that does is it expands the amount of surface area that's touching the water, which means I'm gonna get better heat dissipation. But not just that, it now gives me a channel that I can use for mounting my radiator, mounting my electric fan, my transmission engine coolers, uh, engine oil coolers without having to go through the core. And as you can see, these are all aluminum. They're all hand welded. There's no uh, epoxy in this whatsoever. And we do offer a variety of options. We can even custom build a radiator for you. So let's look at a belt driven fan. Take a look at this stiffener design that's in here. What that stiffener does is allows the blade to flatten out at high engine RPMs, but not roll back so far that it's not gonna return back to its original shape. That's gonna be important because I need that projected width to move airflow when I'm at idle. Not just the belt driven fan, but what about the spacer? So I wanna position this fan properly halfway in, half, at, half in and half out of that fan shroud. Our spacers have a radius edge right here and you can also see that we've expanded the amount of surface area so that we are not biting into this star over time. Flexlight manufactures both transmission and engine oil coolers. And one of the things that we have in our tubes on the outside is what's called a turbulator. What this will do is it'll spin the oil so that the fluid is touching the copper tubes as much as possible, rather than have it coagulate on the outside and get hot oil shooting on the inside. So we also offer what's called a gator clip mounting system. See how these clips are allowing the cooler to be mounted to this bracket? This bracket is an example of additional applications that we've come up with to make it even easier for you to determine how to mount your cooler and not have it use those push rods that go right through to the, the radiator's core. This is a new cooler guard that we've developed. This goes right onto your cooler. Again, I'm gonna use a gator clip to mount it. And what that offers is either protection for that transmission cooler, if, or if I want to style the plate, I can go ahead and paint this without affecting the efficiency of that cooler. Video Shopping Network, an Amazon affiliate. To see this product on Amazon, click the link in the video description below. You'll be able to see current pricing, product reviews, and any special deals. Desktop users should see the Amazon Quick Link below the video. Mobile users will need to click the little down arrow below the video first.